Hi there. Hi. What are we going to do here? Hi. We're going to do an experiment with milk. An experiment with milk. What are we doing with our milk? Show me. We're, uh, we're putting this one in here and this one in here. And we're going to leave them on the counter and see what happens to them. Okay, and what's the difference between those two milks? This one's pasteurized and this one is uh, raw. What do you think is going to be different about them? What's going to happen? This one's going to uh, go moldy and this one's not. How do you know that? <laughs> I love that. Okay, so uh, we have a brand new jug of um, pasteurized milk there. That is one of the mes best milks you can get that's pasteurized. It's not homogenized, so I'm being really fair with this experiment. I'm not even using the worst of the worst here. I'm using the best organic milk that's pasteurized. Okay, so go ahead and open it, bud. Part of the reasoning is that we, I can't imagine feeding the other kind to my kids. Okay, it flips up, but you just pull it up. It's not a twist. There you go. So these usually have cream on them. Oops, on the top there that you have to push down. So we're going to shake it up so we don't just get cream. Okay, um, go ahead and pour a little bit of the raw. Let's combine our cream there on that one. Let's pour a little bit of the raw in there. Okay, a little bit more. That's good. All right, there's our raw dish. Okay, so I've shaken this one up. And you go ahead and lift the bowl up for me, bud. I'm going to pour a little bit of that in there. Kind of hard to do while I'm holding the camera, but I'm managing. Okay, there we go. So you see we have our pasteurized bowl and our raw bowl. Both are marked. Both are going to sit right here. And we will check in tomorrow. All right, so here we are 24 hours later, and we have the raw here on the left and the pasteurized on the right. And you tell me what the difference is. Uh, the lighting's not the greatest over here, but um, the pasteurized is yellower than the raw. They're both starting to separate and look different, but that is the major difference. It's the yellowing. So we'll put them back where they've been staying. All right, here we are on day four. We have the raw here on the left and the pasteurized here on the right. Okay, so here we are at five days. We still have the raw on the left and the pasteurized on the right. Okay, checking in on day six. There's the raw, and here's the pasteurized. Not seeing any mold growth as predicted by my son yet. Okay, here they are. We have the raw and the pasteurized. And I don't freaking know what day it is. I think we're on day eight. Um, and I'm starting to wonder about now how many days I'm going to do this. Um, mostly because I can't stand the smell in my kitchen. So I figure if I put it outside though it's still a little too cold. I think it's speeding up any kind of uh, molding or whatever that's going to happen being in my house. So I'd really like to put them outside. So there you have it. Okay, I verified. Last time was day eight, so this is day nine. And we have our raw, and we have our pasteurized. So, not a whole lot of changes since yesterday. They're getting, well, especially the raw is extremely dry. Pasteurized still has some liquid in there. You can't really see it. Still stinks. See you tomorrow. All right, here we are. Day 10. So there's our pasteurized and our raw. They're very dry. All right, here we are. Day 14. There's our raw and there's our pasteurized. It's 
still stinky. 